that is a really good question. Um, I don't want to see V, especially at mid-year. Right. I will tell you that I will look at them and throw them in the trash. Sure. Because we can only take so much stuff back, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I can't take back a whole bunch of CVs. I just yep. don't have room in my suitcase. The business cards are fine. I do like the business cards because like after I talk to you, I can flip it over and jot a couple things on the back of it that we talked about and that can help me remember you. Um, and they, I can bring back hundreds of business cards, right? right. But I can't bring back hundreds of CVs. Nope. Uh, um, honestly, I don't keep any of them. <laughs> um, it's fair. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, I get so many, so many business cards. It's like yeah. it doesn't ha help me unless I'm gonna write a note about somebody said something inappropriate on it or something like that. But you know, having you're gonna give me your CV when you apply, mm -hmm. so like I don't need a copy of it at mid-year. Like to me, okay. that's just a waste of paper. I know that it's difficult because depending on where you go to school, you get a lot of advice from some of your professors about doing some of those things. Um, that maybe some people think are important. I don't necessarily. Well, um, business card or CV. I'll be honest with you. The CV, it just adds a little bit more weight to my luggage coming back home. Uh, I have no problem without a, a CV. I think we're there just to provide information to the candidates, the students. So uh, now with the far, uh, forecast, you know, if you really are interested in a program, apply through the forecast. So, you know, I encourage students to not, you know, don't waste a lot of money printing up beautiful CV because at the end, uh, you might even change your mind. And also programs, you know, like myself, I mean, I do bring all the business cards and CVs back home, but really at the end, uh, I'm going to get your CV and your information through uh, uh, forecast anyway. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's really added value to that from that perspective. Uh, again, similar to CV, you know, I mean, uh, I might get a stack of, I might get a stack of 20 cards and only maybe half of them apply to a program. I'm going to learn more through the application than a business card. Now I know programs and I, I guess see for our program, you know, we have a lot of applicants is that, you know, even is it worth the time to say thank you for stopping by our booth? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's supply and demand. There's more demand for residency slots, so versus candidates that's like, you know, hey, I want to show my best. So, but be honest with you, I have to, I don't really need business cards or anything like that because we have a sign-in list anyway right. that has more specific questions. I think that's is probably the value that can be added to it. Um, as far as receiving business cards and CVs at meetings yeah. or you know, after those types of interviews or whatnot, I personally don't do anything with them. Um, sure. I will just usually throw them away. Okay. I will sometimes save business cards and write a quick note on them about my initial impression of that candidate. Or I will sometimes save them to see, was it somebody I talked to at mid-year, yes or no? But after that initial period, I throw them all away. If we had a really meaningful conversation, feel free to email me um, or send me a thank you note in the mail. Like I weigh both of those things evenly. Uh, but I also get lots of like random thank yous from people who I can tell were just told to do that. And they're like, I don't even get an application from them. And I don't yeah. fault that. I mean, I'm not like mad that I didn't get an application for them, but they also didn't need to like waste their time mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be mad that I didn't get a thank you from you because I talked to you so um, you know it's fine if somebody sends a thank you email or card or letter but I don't put any weight in that or note that somebody did or did not send me a thank you so okay. I know that some people really believe that you need to do that and that's totally fine and I don't knock you down for that but I just like take it and read it and it doesn't go against you negatively or positively in terms of your interviewing piece um, or, you know, if you send an email or a card or whatever. So, you know, if someone's trying to make themselves stand out and like, you know, um, 
I just remember there was one year where I think someone like emailed me and called me and sent me a card and that was just like way too much. Like yeah. that's like that's overboard. So, you know, I'm happy to get them. But like I said, my personal advice is I don't really feel strongly about it. You know, you everyone should go through the process the same way. And the best way to do it is to like follow forecasts and get all of the applications in the same way. And we try to like look at everybody as equally as we can. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a nice cordial thing to do, but it doesn't really hold any weight with me personally. Um, I personally love receiving thank you cards in the mail. However, mail does take a lot longer, especially to come to the hospital, get sorted and then get sent to our department. Yeah. So if you mail something to us, it often is a good week or so before we actually receive it. So if it's something that you want to be more time sensitive, like I just came for an email, the match deadline is in four days, I really want you to receive this in time before the deadline, an email is probably in your best interest to send thank you. And given today's state of how electronic everything is, an email is 100% mm -hmm. acceptable as a form of thank you. Yeah, I think those are all really great ways to reinforce positive interactions that we've had with candidates. Um, it really helps to keep that candidate in the back of our head as you know someone who has consistently shown that they are um, interested in our program. Um, I think a professionally worded email is just fine. Um, but if we do get a handwritten letter that does also have a per personal touch to it. Um, so I think it can only hurt you or it can only help you, it can't hurt you. Um, and it's also not something that I would think that is a requirement of a candidate either. So I think it's a it's a really great additional touch that you can add um, to a program's impression of you, um, but it's not required. <laughs>